Hi, my name is Jeremy and today I'll be sharing with you what cabin fever is and why it's important to know, as well as three ways of dealing with it. So you might be hearing the terms community quarantine, extended community quarantine, general community quarantine, lockdown, and social distancing. These are the terms we usually hear during these trying times. We are forced to stay within the confines of our homes to protect ourselves and other people from this global pandemic. Yet it has been taking a toll on our minds and bodies. So have you been feeling claustrophobic, extreme irritability, restlessness, anxiousness, and uneasiness from living in isolation? It's unhealthy not seeing your friends, colleagues, family, and getting your usual stimuli from being outdoors. Being confined indoors for a prolonged period of time may have led to certain discomfort, and the term for this is cabin fever. So are you really experiencing cabin fever? What is cabin fever and how can we cure this fever? According to Grammarist.com, the term cabin fever is an idiom that is of unknown origin. The oldest use of the term occurred in the early 1900s from North America. Due to severe weather such as long and cold winters, not to mention neighbors who are far from each other, the conditions during those times were truly isolating, staying in their cabins or houses alone or with their closest family members. Also, diseases such as typhus during those times have added to social distancing and isolation, hence cabin fever. Remember, you are not alone. People have been self-isolating themselves worldwide to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Think of that and maybe you'll be okay. So how do we relieve ourselves of cabin fever? First, you need to stay positive. Stay positive. Let go of the things you cannot control. Can you control the weather? Can you control the spread of the pandemic? Can you control nature? Remember, the only thing you have absolute control over is yourself. Be conscious. Be thankful. Choose the right thing to do. Choose to be physically and mentally active. Create routines and schedules for the time being. Stick with your old schedule but slightly modify to make it less hectic and stressful. Minimize taking naps for it may interfere with your good night's sleep. Search for free exercise classes and other mentally engaging activities online to sharpen your mind. Find ways to create. Stay productive and have a producer's mindset. Choose to be emotionally strong and socially active. Use social media not as a way to consume negativity or to add to it, but rather to connect and re-establish relationships with friends and family. Connect with your family members at home, have a conversation, impart knowledge and learning, listen without judgment, talk about the good stuff and nothing else. Choose to be spiritually strong, meditate, reflect, introspect, calm your mind and your heart. The second thing that you need to do is to make plans. Try to forecast and understand the new normal when you get back out there. What would be the new way of doing things? What pain points will society experience in the new normal? How can you solve society's problems after the quarantine? Make plans to create value. And lastly, engage and help others. You don't need to be in the front lines to help during these trying times. Simply doing something engaging and helpful for others, such as your friends and colleagues, could create value. Host your own podcast, show, workshop, or meeting online to help others achieve their goals. Topics in which you are an expert in 
would always be best and more comfortable to share. Victor E. Frankl, an Austrian neurologist and psychiatrist, once said, When we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. Again, for us to overcome cabin fever and better ourselves, we need to stay positive, make plans, engage, and help others. We are creatures of habit. Let us make creating value for ourselves and others a habit. Let's create a brighter future together. Remember, this too shall pass. And with that, thank you for listening. Stay awesome. Stay fresh. Bye-bye now.